Alright, so one of the most highly anticipated tech products from Apple this year is the iMac, and it's set to have a bit of an upgrade according to the leaks. So let's talk about it. This is the M4 iMac. Let's go over the raw stats. Links and sources down in the description. The iMac is Apple's all-in-one desktop device that combines power with convenience, starting at a price of $1,300. And that is allegedly going to be the same for this year's model, which is a great start. Let's see what the newest version comes with. For sizing, the new iMac will be the same as the previous generation. It will be 24 inches, share that same minimalist chin design with still surprising no Apple logo present, etc. The screen itself allegedly won't be seeing an upgrade, which is fine given the IMAX display is quite solid already. But in terms of connectivity, there will be an alleged small upgrade. For the previous generation IMAX, the higher tier version only sported two Thunderbolt USB-C ports in addition to two standards. As a small upgrade for this year, Apple will be shipping, at least with the higher tier version, four Thunderbolt ports. So that means you'll be able to do more with your USB-Cs, and hopefully that also means more ports for the standard model, which only had two USB-C C ports for the previous generation. Moreover, ideally for the accessories that come with the iMac, they will all thankfully be converted to USB-C as part of Apple's continued approach to update its devices with these standard ports, which would be great from a consumer standpoint and mean that we won't need to use multiple different chargers for much longer. And on top of those, another upgrade to the list would be the internal specs. Succeeding the M3 chip, the M4 processor brings far better performance to the iMac, jumping from an 8-core to a 10-core CPU, in addition to other small features, netting an alleged increase in performance of 20 to 25 percent, which would be astounding for the device. Plus, the iMac is rumored to receive a RAM upgrade as well, with the base model coming with 16 gigabytes, which would be so much better for consumers, making it possible to run many different programs. Storage-wise, though, there hasn't been any new information on whether this iMac will receive an upgrade. But if Apple could just make it start at 512 gigabytes of storage, that would be so much better for consumers. But we'll see what happens, and we'll see very soon because this iMac is scheduled to be released fall 2024, likely late October to early November. November, when the next Apple event takes place. So will the new iMac be worth calling an upgrade? Let's get on to my verdict. So, the new iMac. It's definitely a nice little upgrade from what came before. Apple has always done really well with these iterative upgrades. Although they may not bring a lot of groundbreaking things to the table, these small upgrades are great for just adding a few important internal features and then ironing out any issues with the past design. They're really good stuff. And with this iMac, that sentiment is no different. Apple, if these leaks are accurate, will upgrade your iMac essentially at no additional cost. In fact, if the iMac stays at the same price, you're getting a far better bang for your buck with this new iMac generation. It's a serious win-win. But there are some small things I wish Apple would add to the iMac, like more storage, and more ports. By bringing in those two things, more of those two things, the device would be absolutely fantastic. But I'm rather eager about the new MacBook Pros being released later this year that I'll make a video on soon, so stay tuned for that. But for the iMac, it's not bad at all. The leaks look good, and if accurate, will surely satisfy most of you out there. Just make sure it fits within your needs. And that was my leak rundown of the new 2024 M4 iMac. What do you think? Will you get one? Let me know in the comment section down below. My name is Cyrus. It's spelled like Cyrus, but that's like Cyrus, just take it the tur. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.